specifically for the parents of the children that not only those that were involved but those that are attending the camp and were there when all of this commotion went on today. Uh, I am Angie Carpenter. I'm the supervisor of the town of Islip and I'm joined this afternoon by my colleagues on the town board, John Cochran, councilman, and from the town of Brookhaven, Neil Foley, councilman. From Good Samaritan Hospital, we have their chief medical officer, Dan Teplitz, uh, along with Justin Jason. I know he's around here somewhere. Uh, and from uh, Southside, from Northwell, we have Dr. Scanlon and Dr. Ramo, and they'll be up to give you some more information also. We run a, a camp at Atlantique. It is very, very popular. It runs all summer long. It's a week long uh, experience for the kids from about um, 10 or 11 years to up till 15, and they absolutely love it. An entire day, lunch, everything that goes on, experiencing the beauty of the water. They are obviously in the water at some point during the day, and today one of our young campers was on a boogie board. A wave knocked him off and he actually got bit. He walked out of the water. Um, he, the lifeguard was watching him come out, went right over to him, saw that he had, was bleeding. They immediately brought him over to the tent and started taking care of him, dressing the wound. One of our other lifeguards actually happens to be a medical student. So he got first class care uh, until the emergency responders answered. Uh, were able to get to Atlantique. And that was um, from Ocean Beach, the chief of the fire department and rescue, Chief Ian Levine was on the scene uh, and they were able to treat him, contact the Marine Bureau, Suffolk County Marine Bureau, who transported the young boy off the beach. Again, he walked onto the boat, walked off the boat. Um, so he is in good condition, certainly being taken care of. There was another um, incident at Sailor's Haven, a young lady. The boy that was in our camp was 13. The young lady at Sailor's Haven was 12. I know that her dad's been already giving interviews and everything, but both of these young kids, thank God, are okay. And we're seeing this as an opportunity to remind everyone the water is beautiful. It is magnificent here on the South Shore of Long Island, but the water can be treacherous, so you need to be careful at all times. Um, we immediately obviously contacted the parents and um, you know the word got out there. We are just so grateful that he is safe, uh, that they're both safe. So I would like to ask um, Dr. Uh, Temlitz, Don from uh, Good Sam, to kind of give us an update on the young lady. Sure. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I'm happy to report that the patient uh, was received at Good Samaritan Hospital is stable, receiving the appropriate uh, treatment, and uh, we'll have a further report later this <laughs> afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Sure. And, uh, you know, it's ironic. We have two first-class hospitals here in the town of Islip in pretty close proximity to each other, and one of the victims went to Good Sam, the other went to Southside, the young boy, our camper went to Southside, and I would ask Dr. Scanlon and Ramo if they would please come forward. Thank you, Angie. Thank you. I, I, I do have to echo what Angie said, is that there are two world-class hospitals here that take care of this community, uh, and that is an amazing thing. Uh, and thanks so much, Don. So Don and I are colleagues together. Uh, we had the young boy, as you say, walked uh, into our hospital as well. So you know that the boy is doing well. Um, I know you have a ton of questions specific to the boy, specific to the girl, but that's not for us to answer. That's the privacy of that. But we know that they're doing well. They're both in good institutions and we're taking great care of them. So thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks, thanks so thanks. much. Um, <clears throat> I would like to just tell everyone that the be beaches were immediately closed, all of our beaches on the ocean. We called, because we got the call right away uh, from Chief Levine, actually called me. Uh, we immediately called the town of Babylon, town of Brookhaven, uh, actually New York State Parks, uh, Chip Gorman. He did not know about it. So I think what I'd like everyone to take away from this is that there's a tremendous amount of communication and information sharing whenever there's any kind of situation uh, in our towns. Uh, and certainly from the good town of Brookhaven, our neighbor to the east, 
We have Councilman Neal Foley. Neal, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Supervisor. And I, I guess the, the message here is communication. Uh, I represent the Fifth <coughs> Council District of Brookhaven, uh, miles and miles of bush, uh, beach. And the key is, as much as it's beautiful, it can be treacherous and dangerous, especially with riptides. And now we're dealing with some attacks today. So I guess the word is getting, the word is getting it out and helping educate our folks to be careful, but enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. You know, you talk about getting the word out. We had a press conference earlier, about two or three weeks ago, on pool safety and swimming safety in general, but we never touched on possibly sharks. And I do say possibly because it really, as far as we're concerned, has not been totally confirmed. Um, I would like to ask our chief lifeguard, Craig Amarondo, who is responsible particularly for Atlantic Beach down there uh, to please come forward and uh, give us a little bit uh, without getting too specific of what went on today. Hello everyone. Yes, I was working today at Atlantic Beach and I would like to commend the lifeguards that were on duty today. Uh, Miss Bella Cohen, she rescued the boy right away, escorted him out of the water. Like Miss Carpenter said, we had him under our tent administering first aid right away. That's when we noticed the puncture wounds and uh, we figured it was a, a shark bite right away. We dressed the wounds appropriately. Like Miss Carpenter said, the EMS came and they took our dressings off because they wanted to see the wounds. And that's when they confirmed also, not only was it a shark bite, but they found one of the teeth in, still inside the boy. So the boy was very brave. He was alert the whole time. He was scared, of course, but uh, he, was a, he was a brave boy. And uh, the police took him off, and I'm sure he's doing fine right now. But again, I just wanted to commend my lifeguard corps today at Atlantique. They did, once again, an awesome job. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, I couldn't help but think that when these kids go back to school in September and the teacher asks them to write about what they did this summer, they're definitely going to have something to report. Uh, I would also like to recognize Tim Mooney, who is the president and chief executive officer of Fire Island Ferries. They do an incredible job here transporting hundreds of thousands of people across this bay every summer. And they are entrusted with our campers every year. So uh, we thank you for the good care that you take with our campers and, and all of our residents that go back and forth. Um, I will open it up to questions, but again, we can't get into any specifics of, uh, of the kids or anything, but whatever we can answer, we certainly will attempt to do so. Is this an unusual? Oh, yes, it is. This is most unusual, most unusual. And I think, um, I don't know if you can report to that from the hospital point of view, but how many of these have you seen? Oh, how many of these? Bite. How many sharks bites yeah. do we ever have? Yeah. So, yeah. However, this have, was. Uh, too. Yeah. This <laughs> was. This was uh, an incredibly uh, unusual situation, to say the least. Obviously, from the the turnout of the media and the interest of what was going on. Is there anything going on where the sharks are causing the sharks to be that close? Um, you know, I'm going to ask Councilman Cochran to come up and answer that. Councilman Cochran. Uh, a Navy veteran who is very familiar with the waters, yeah. diver and everything, you yeah. might be able to answer that, John. Thank you, Supervisor. Yes, right now, this is the breeding season. The, sports, the sharks are spawning. Uh, you've reported on the great white spawns off of the Amagansett, the uh, bull sharks, the other uh, uh, tiger the sand sharks, they're all breeding right now. So um, out in Hampton Bays last weekend, I witnessed actually 10 baby sharks that actually washed up on, on shore. So they're fine. The, the most shark attacks happen in the surf zone. Sharks are blind, they go over the electric posts of a body or a fish, and this boy just ended up uh, falling off his boogie board in the wrong place. And most of the shark bites that happen are hit and runs. So the shark bites and takes off. So a lot of, there's a lot of spawning going on. Well, that's why we have great lifeguards. If the lifeguards are up higher, usually they, they have the, uh, but if it's murky water and these fish are feeding, there's a lot of bait fish in the ocean right now. A lot of bunker, talked to a lot of my fishermen, they're catching some big fish out there, and if there's fish, there's going to be predators. What kind of shark were they? I, I don't know what tooth they found, so. Are the, are the beaches open for swimming yet? Uh, our town beaches on the ocean have been closed for the rest of the day, and we will make that assessment tomorrow morning as to whether or not they will reopen. But certainly our the beaches will be open. It's a matter of whether or not they'll be allowed in the water. 
But our camp program obviously will be uh, in operation tomorrow because it's more than just going in the water that is the experience for the camper for the day. And that's all not a residue Yes. No, just, just, the, just the ocean beaches, just the beaches that are on the ocean. Because we have beaches on the bay. Weren't there two in there? There were two. There was a young boy in Atlantique and a young lady in Sailor's Haven. And what, can you describe again their, their, uh, their injuries? Uh, really, I think because of HIPAA law, it's probably better that we not go into details on that. Anything else? Can you say anything about yes, sir. And just keep the camp in one side. My daughter is in the camp. It is a great camp. One of our concerns as parents is none of us are notified until right now as we're waiting for tomorrow today. So even though they weren't involved with the attack, we were sitting waiting getting texts from one of the children saying there was a shark attack in the water and we didn't know anything about it. Okay, that you raise a very interesting point to the question earlier about how often does this happen? Never. Never. So we've developed a protocol and certainly will be alerting all of the parents if there is an incident that they should be made aware of, but certainly the parents of the young boy who was bit were contacted immediately. All right? We Thank you, Pete. We didn't know who it was, yep. whether it was true or not. Yep. Well, you know, and again, in today's, you know, world of social media, every kid has a phone and they're texting and, you know, pictures are out there. We were getting pictures, That's you know. That's official word of the Yeah. I understand, and I apologize for that. We tried our best. Okay. okay. Did the kids say anything about their experience fighting off the sharks or anything? Uh, you know, someone had reported to me that was speaking with um, someone in the hospital. And in fact, I wanted to introduce our deputy uh, commissioner of parks, Deirdre Wahlberg, who really rose to the occasion today and was there with us uh, as this was all going on but that the young boy was in incredibly wonderful spirits. You know, he was kind of joking about it. So uh, again, we are so very grateful that no one was seriously injured and uh, you know, that's about it. Anything else? Okay, I thank you very much for coming down. I'm going to be in and out of the Sure. I uh, got Connor has a soccer game at 6.45. Oh, I see it. Your folks are coming. Yeah. Your dad told me. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I said, Dad, cover for me. So, so I'm going to get there early and then take Connor. Whatever. Whatever. I thank you. Thank you. Good job.